Hi and welcome to another gaming video and today's video is a bit of a moan. I've currently moved house, uh, I'm stuck without Wi-Fi until my provider gets it installed and for me it's not that much of an issue gaming wise. Obviously I've got my mobile phone for data so I can keep online uh, but for playing games I use a DS or a PSP, don't need internet connection to play any of those games and that's great. My kids have started to suffer because they've got modern consoles, latest PlayStation, latest Xboxes, and most modern games have some kind of online element, if not an entire online element. So like Fortnite or uh, whatever the latest Call of Duty is, uh, even Minecraft, uh, while they, you can play some of these games offline, they heavily rely on being an online or a community game and they are stuck. It's really brought to my attention just how much modern gaming relies on an internet connection. I've never been a fan of multiplayer games. If I've bought a game and it's got an online capability, uh, I would just generally play the single player campaign. Some of the newer Call of Duties had a single player campaign plus an online side, which I think I've played for about 10 minutes. Uh, I much prefer playing games by myself. I'm not a very sociable person at the best of times and I don't want to be playing with some random from around the world. I would I would much prefer a story driven game. So while GTA 5 is massive in the online community, I've just played the campaign and it's more it's more than just that you can't play online while while you've got no internet connection. There are some services so this Game Pass that you get for the Xbox doesn't let you play a lot of the games that you want to play, even in offline mode or single player mode, because it, it cannot connect to Microsoft servers. There's, there's so much you can't do on a modern console if you have no internet connection whatsoever. Uh, and it really has bugged me, but also made me appreciate the fact that I like retro gaming, older gaming. So things like my DS and my PSP, they, they don't care about the internet. They do have it, or they did have it. PS2, another favorite console of mine. Saturn, Dreamcast, these were just consoles that you popped a disc in, there was no updates needed, there was no patches to be put on. You didn't need an internet connection for the servers to know that that's a a legit game and you to carry on playing it. It was straightforward gaming and I've always known that modern consoles relied a little too much on having an internet connection but I didn't realise just how much and it's well, it's bothered me and it's really annoyed my children. Obviously when you move house and uh, you're waiting for things to be set up and installed it's just something that you just have to live with but I'm fine. Obviously I'm super busy sorting out my new house but if I did have time, I could just pick up my PSP and carry on playing God of War, Chains of Olympus. I wouldn't have to worry that I've, I've got no connection to the outside world. So, modern gaming sucks if you've got no Wi-Fi or no internet or a, a way of communicating with some of the servers. And a lot of the games are just online only. Um, it, it's it's a, a phase that I haven't got into. Gaming seems to have moved into this whole, it's a community thing. But if you've got no internet, then you've got no community. So let me know what you think. Are you a fan of this new modern way of playing games and, and playing them with people around the world? And okay, it's, it's good fun. I'm not saying I don't like playing with games with people. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing Super Bomberman on the Super Nintendo. And I think it was one of the football games. Uh, back in the day with a mate, that was great. But that was still not online. It was two controllers, uh, split screen or uh, share of the screen, and you just played that way. None of this connecting to servers and just playing with as many random people from around the world, and none of this relying on an internet connection to do so. So that is why, or that is one of the reasons I don't like modern games consoles, and it's just really amplified that for me these last couple of weeks where we've had no internet connection. Let me know what you think. Link, like, subscribe, 
enjoy